Greetings and salutations, fandom fans, and welcome to another battle between fictional fighters on Grudge Match Unlimited, the show where characters who will likely never meet in canon can cross over to a neutral battleground to put their skills to the test against each other. Today's episode goes into space to pit two of the top sci-fi smugglers and ship captains against each other. From Star Wars, it's the captain of the Millennium Falcon, Han Solo, and from Firefly, the captain of the Serenity, Mal Reynolds. A startlingly large amount of similarities between these two characters in terms of personality, life outlook, and how they conduct their business. Also, both have started off their existence on screen with Han Solo debuting in Star Wars and Mal Reynolds debuting in Firefly and then moving on to the big screen with Serenity the movie. And then both have been transferred into lots of other media, most notably comic books, as a way of further developing their stories and their histories. So taking a look at them individually and starting with Han Solo, created in 1977 for the first Star Wars film, Episode Four: A New Hope. Backstory of Han Solo is that he was born on a planet called Corellia, and he was orphaned at a very young age, so he turned to becoming a thief as a way of surviving on the streets, and when he got older, he turned into a smuggler and got himself a ship, the famed Millennium Falcon, took on Chewbacca the Wookiee as his first mate and longtime best friend, and became a very famed and prolific smuggler in the Star Wars universe. Eventually meeting up with Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Obi-Wan Kenobi, C-3PO, and R2-D2, and joining them in their adventures and fighting back against the Empire. Eventually marrying Princess Leia and having a child with her, Ben, who went on to become Kylo Ren, who is one of the heads of the First Order. He joined the Rebel Alliance in their struggle against the Empire and went on several military-style missions for them, despite the fact that he has no formal military training. He is capable in a fight, though, again, he has no formal fighting training, military training, but quite capable in a fight and quite handy with a blaster, his preferred weapon and a very standard weapon in the Star Wars universe. He never became proficient in the Force like his wife, Princess Leia, or brother-in-law, Luke Skywalker, but despite not having any Force powers, his ingenuity, quick wit, and resourcefulness made him a very potent threat to his enemies all throughout the Star Wars series. Malcolm Mal Reynolds, first created in 2002 for the Firefly TV series, and then moving into the Serenity film and eventually Serenity comic books, was born on a planet known as Shadow, and he joined the Independence Army to fight against the Alliance in the Unification Wars when he grew up and became an adult. Now, the Independent Army lost that fight, lost the Unification Wars against the Alliance, and that left Mal very jaded, and he sort of wanted to go off on his own, acquired the Serenity ship, and decided to become a smuggler outside the bounds of Alliance regulation. He takes on a crew of like-minded individuals and engages in many smuggling jobs and illegal operations, and eventually, because of taking on River Tam and her brother Simon, who are being sought after by the Alliance, brings him and his crew into extreme conflict with the Alliance, eventually having to basically go to war with them. Mal falls back on his military training when in conflict, so he is a quite capable hand-to-hand -hand fighter, and he is a quite capable gunslinger as well, generally preferring to use his Liberty Hammer pistol that he's had ever since the war and retains to this day. Now, any discussion of these two characters would have to also include a discussion of their ships. They are most primarily known as captains of their ships, and they have very famed piloting skills when it comes to their ships. So Han Solo's ship is the, of course, Millennium Falcon. This is a 35 meter long vessel that is extremely fast and maneuverable for its size. It's often remarked to look like a piece of junk, but it is famed as being quite quick at breaking records and completing the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. It's outfitted with a few different armaments, including laser cannons at both the upper and lower parts of the ship. However, both of these laser cannons require a gunner to be seated in the cannon in order to fire it. They can't fire independently. 
but there are other armaments including missile launcher tubes and it also has energy shielding to deflect from laser fire that it takes. Now Mal's vessel, the Serenity, is a Firefly class starship. It is 82 meters long, making it more than twice the size of the Millennium Falcon. So that's going to put the Millennium Falcon at a much greater degree of maneuverability and speed. Also, the Serenity lacks any external weapons or shielding. So it's going to have a much more difficult time in a fight against the Millennium Falcon, which has both exterior weaponry and energy shields. But as both of these vessels are primarily smuggling vessels and transport vessels not intended for prolonged battle, any fight between these two is going to most likely be done face to face rather than ship to ship. So what's going to happen when Han Solo crosses paths with Mal Reynolds? Who's going to come out victorious in this fight? Winner's going to be Han Solo. While Mal does have the edge in hand-to-hand -hand fighting ability because of his military training, Han Solo's not exactly a slouch in the hand-to-hand -hand fighting department, especially after his joining of the Rebel Alliance and going on several missions with them that put him in extreme conflict with the Stormtroopers and the Empire. But when it comes to a fight between these two characters, it can easily be determined that it's going to come down to a shootout. Both of these characters prefer as their main style of offensive attacks to be their usage of handguns. And despite the fact that Mal is pretty quick on the draw and very good with his pistol, a pistol against a blaster is sort of a mismatch. A blaster is going to have much greater degree of firepower, much higher rate of fire. It's going to not run out of ammo as Mal's six shooter gun is going to. And a blaster can do just much more damage, especially to a unarmored opponent. So even if Mal got a shot off on Han first and managed to hit him, you can't guarantee a kill shot from a standard pistol, whereas a blaster shot can pretty much put anybody down for the count unless it hits them in an arm or something that they could survive the shot. So blaster versus pistol, blaster is going to be the superior weapon, and and Han has proven himself to be pretty good at quick drawing as well, which he proved when he defeated Greedo by firing first in the infamous cantina scene. Both of these characters are probably on the equal footing in terms of guile and resourcefulness that allows them to get themselves out of hairy situations by use of their pure wits and intelligence, so it's tough to put either one above the other in that regard. So really, what it comes down to is Han has the better weaponry, he's got the better ship as well, Mal may have better fighting skills, but these two characters are both primarily shooters rather than fighters, so the edge has to go to Han Solo. So that's going to do it for this edition of Grudge Match Unlimited. Let me know what you think down below of the outcome of this fight, and as always, suggestions for future Grudge Matches. We'll see you next time on the next edition of Grudge Match Unlimited.